All right, Miles, let's talk Alabama Crimson Tide. This is a team that's used to winning national championships and used to winning the offseason. And we've got news out of Tuscaloosa that shows Alabama under Nick Saban continues to make some very interesting but really smart moves, really shoring up every single potential weakness, every single potential hole in the roster. And I think this news coming out of Tuscalo- Tuscaloosa is an even bigger sign for the Crimson Tide going forward into 2023. Yeah, Nick, there's a lot of legendary signings with both players and coaches on this Alabama team this offseason. But when you speak of legendary in Alabama, they're almost synonymous. They've had so many great players there. But I want to ask the Bama fans in the comments below, who is your quintessential guy? Who dons the crimson the best? Who comes to your mind when you think Alabama football player? Who's the first guy to pop into your head? There's literally too many people to even, uh, you know, start naming off names. So just let us know in the comments below who is your quintessential Alabama uh, Crimson Tide player. But Nick, what have the Crimson Tide done today that is even more special? Yeah, so Alabama obviously had another big recruiting cycle. They landed in a lot of top guys, as they always do. No surprise there. But one thing that Alabama has done under, under Nick Save in the past decade or so that I think is really smart is their ability to get quality coaches, usually former head coaches or at least very smart, savvy guys, in key uh, positions throughout the coaching staff to kind of give them that extra edge. We talked about Ken Wisenhunt on the offensive side a few weeks ago, and the Alabama Crimson Tide under Save it aren't done there. So this was a report. This is actually a tweet. I'm sorry. According to uh, – Sports Illustrated, now Ross Dellinger, he said this, Alabama has hired former Texas coach Charlie Strong as a defensive analyst. Strong worked in Miami at a similar role last season, last season under now uh, Bama defensive coordinator Kevin Steele. Steele obviously brought into the fold uh, under Alabama this offseason. I love this, Mize. I love the fact that Saban gets former head coaches because whether you like Charlie Strong or not as a head coach and he wasn't a very good head coach at the top of the college football world, to get to that position, you got to know football and you got to be smart. Right. It doesn't matter whatever factors are involved, doesn't matter how good or bad you do to become a head coach at a major college football program. You got to be good at your job. You got to be a pretty competent guy. You got to really know football and know strategy and all the ins and outs, especially Charlie Strong, who's a defensive mind. So getting him as a defensive analyst, kind of off to the side to evaluate, kind of self scout or potentially scout opponents is such a huge extra advantage to an Alabama team that's already stacked athletically with talent. Just getting another smart guy to look at the film, find weaknesses, you know, even in your own defense or find potential areas to attack and opposing offenses I think will be huge for Alabama going forward into 2023 and let's not forget of course their new defensive coordinator already has a great relationship with Strong they work together in Miami so it just seems to be one of these quieter moves that Alabama has made but a really smart one that will pay huge dividends in the fall give me your thoughts my son on everything Alabama is doing and specifically this hire of Charlie Strong yeah Nick this is actually really important because you know as you're when you're as good as Alabama uh, your coaches are going to get poached all the time and you look True. this offseason, six guys, six coaches from Alabama are leaving, three of which are going to the NFL. The other three are going to other college football programs around the country. They have five new coaches coming in. So the turnover is crazy when you're a program as good as Alabama. Everyone wants your talent. So I, I just think that it is really, really good uh, move by Alabama to just keep going to the well, replenishing with these legendary uh, coaches. Because uh, Strong has been around the block for a while, Nick. I remember his days at Louisville. Very good. Obviously, everybody remembers uh, when he went to Texas. Then he even went to the NFL for a bit when he was with Urban Meyer. So he has a depth of experience. Uh, he knows what he is doing. And I think this is a really good signing. What Whatever the word analyst means, you know, I don't know exactly how he's going to fit into the whole scheme here uh, for Alabama. But he is a strong strong coach and in a position where he can be flexible and really just work on what he is the best at. And Nick Saban is just brilliant. Uh, he keeps reloading on both the players. We don't even have to worry about the players this anymore. They keep getting five stars like it's nobody's business. So they're, they're good on the players aspect. Now Saban's just focusing on getting five star after five star in the coaching department. So this has really been a huge off season for Alabama. Yeah, especially when you look at one of the finer principles when everyone talks about organizational management or leadership. One of the things everyone says is, is hire smart people and don't tell them what to do. Give them flexibility to find things to do. And that's what Saban has done here when he brings in a guy as an analyst, Charlie Strong, smart guy, experienced guy, bring him in as an analyst. And like you said, don't really know what it means. It seems kind of vague because Charlie Strong is brought in to you know, do whatever he can to help the team out, whatever it is, whether it's self-scouting, like I said, evaluating opponents, game day evaluations, maybe personal player development. 
whatever it is, you bring in a smart, talented, experienced guy like Strong and let him just run with it. And this is what Saban is really good at. He's had a track record of doing this. And the fact that play, uh, I'm sorry, the fact that coaches keep wanting to come back means that he gives these guys opportunities. He doesn't micromanage them. He's not the dictator, as critics like to likes to say on Saban. So once again, like you said, Mice, this is another example of a really smart move by Saban in the Alabama program. 